What could be the reason why soldiers who have pledged to defend their country from chaos would decide to remove an astounding leader who is doing his best to make his country great again? Is it that they are not happy with the leader, or is there a sinister plan that we are not seeing? On Tuesday, September 27, 2023, Burkina Faso's intelligence and security services informed the public through national television that they had thwarted an attempted coup by the military junta under Ibrahim Traoré. In the statement, the authorities mentioned that the alleged perpetrators had the sinister intention of attacking the institutions of the republic and plunging the country into chaos. A spokesman for the ruling military, Rimtalba Jean Emmanuel Awadrogo, added that officers and other alleged actors involved in this attempt at destabilization have been arrested, and others are actively sought. Although the statement did not identify those arrested, it said investigations are ongoing to help unmask the instigators of this plot. However, the military prosecutor of the country later stated that four people had been arrested and two were on the run. He also said that an investigation has been opened based on credible allegations about a plot against state security implicating officers. That same evening, September 26, thousands of people took to the streets of the capital Ouagadougou in response to a call from supporters of Captain Traore to defend him in the face of rumors of a putsch that was circulating on social networks. While the coup was successfully thwarted, the big question is, will this be the last time Ibrahim Traore faces such a threat? Recall that earlier this month, there was an attempted coup against the military junta, which was thankfully thwarted, and three soldiers were arrested and charged with plotting against the ruling military government. Prior to their arrest, investigators were told that its soldiers and former soldiers working in intelligence were snooping around the residences and other places frequented by important junta members, including Traore. So, this recent coup is the third attempted coup against Traore since he came to power. The interesting thing in all this is that although he came into power through a coup, Captain Ibrahim Traoré has stood out as an inspiring leader who has been trying his best to protect and develop the country. Immediately after he came to power, Traoré set out to cut links to France, the former colonial power. He ordered French forces based in the country to help tackle the Islamist insurgency to leave and ended the military defense pact with France. Aside from trying to make his country independent and free from the shackles of neocolonialism by distancing the country from France, Traoré vowed to reclaim the territories that the terrorists had claimed. To do this, he has carried out several initiatives, such as general mobilization, strengthening of the military arm, and forming a defense pact with Mali and Niger. In terms of development, Ibrahim Traoré has set out to modernize the roads in Burkina Faso, set up a community entrepreneurship program that would encourage industrialization, and partnered with the UNDP to launch the Africa mini-grid in the country, amongst others. Traoré's actions and his words prove that he is indeed an exceptional African leader who wants to make Burkina Faso great again. So, aside from asking whether this would be the last attempt against Captain Traoré, another very big question we should ask is, are these coups the result of disgruntled soldiers, or are the West, particularly France, behind it because they see him as a threat? Would this be another case of an inspiring African leader who wanted to change things but could not because he was assassinated? Let us hope not, because if it happens, it would be a big loss to Africa. What are your thoughts? Are these coup attempts a manifestation of internal discontent, or could there be external forces at play? We want to hear your thoughts, so don't forget to drop a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.